So, the pilgrims outside in old Deosia still after battling it out with many a blot monster and surviving out in this wilderness, this swampy marsh, finally finding the dragon who now offers to take them back to Trevisetta upon her backside. And as she takes off, she looks around below to the swampy marsh and the acidic fog that covers it. Tell me, pilgrims, how did you even get here? Travis said no small jaunt. You didn't come here by foot, did you? We forgot about Kurt Oh, shoot the cart. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. <clears throat> My horses, turn around. <laughs> she, she just looks and uh, looking at Let's how start. you're still above the hut. I haven't gone anywhere yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a forward thinker. I thought we were already flying. We got to go get those horses. Oh. She just sighs and starts flying do, with your directions, kind of okay. back towards the horses. And I, since she's flying up, I'm going to show you the rest of the map. I'm just going to reveal it. Whoa. <clears throat> show two dead horses and no. a PNG of a cart. <laughs> no. Tipped over on that its side to show its that it's dead. part of its transparent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, there it is. Wow. Right. Ooh, Christ. crescent moon thingy up to the top left. I see it now. Yeah. But yes, as as she <laughs> raises you up into the air, you can see a larger portion of the marsh and some various different blots and, and such and a few dead creatures as well, uh, for better or for worse, that you have avoided. And she... Maneuvers herself with this little piece of grass. Um, there we go. Over. Wait, to... Where's Lara? We... No. no. Our, Lara, our Lara doesn't look like a piece of grass. Yeah. <laughs> she, looks, she looks like a cat lady. Over to your cart.jpg. Yes. And corpses. as she flies closer, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. so she circles and flies down and the as the massive insectoid dragon comes down it spooks the horses a bit both butterscotch and efficiency start to whinny and whine and toss their reins to try and get them off their faces Ooh. uh animal handling you may oh, like, to try and calm them down yeah jump down and kind of be like hello everything is good and fine Oh, very Ooh, nice. Yeah, you're nice. able to calm them down. They believe. have seen dragons before, but they were unsure as to how hostile this one was, judging by the look of things, considering that they are very much in a hostile environment. You are safe. We're here now. Mainly me. <laughs> Butterscotch kind of oh, uh, happily trots in place and nibbles at your hand a little bit. Cool. I think I have some extra horse treats. I'll give them some. Oh. Yeah. Yes, six days worth of horse snacks. <laughs> I'll do five. Five uh, split between them both or just two butterscotch? Uh, split between them both. So okay. I'll like reduce one. And just give them All right. a day's worth. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So are we taking the cart there or can you pick the whole thing up? I can try, but it's going to limit my mobility. Whatever gets us there faster. All right. But if there's any trouble... You're going to have to be the ones to handle it. Always. She leans down uh, to try and wrap her, like, mantis-like arms around the cart and lets the horses up onto kind of her back legs. And <laughs> they're going to be on her back along with you. Cool. Huh. That's a visual. <laughs> Two horses riding a dragon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd be terrified. You can see that she's got a lot of wings, so she kind of secures a few of them around the horses, kind of like a protective cocoon to keep them in place as well. Oh, that's awesome. nice. All of her, like, insectoid wings. And she looks over them, uh, kind of inspecting them up and down, and she notices the now fully recovered leg of Butterscotch. You take good care of these horses, don't you? They're worth it. Look at the little pattern on this one's thigh. I, I just gesture to one that looks, it's like a pattern that looks like a small horse. That's <laughs> adorable. That's how you know. I never had time for pets. 
It's worth it, they're just like people. Well, maybe you can convince Lord Tejero that the next dragon gets the privilege. You're, you're saying that you, you, you didn't even get the privilege of, like, a pet when you were helping the city? Not at all. Uh, Lord Tejero likes to keep a no fraternize, uh, fraternizing policy, says it can be distracting to the main duties of an official. But it doesn't seem to stop him from socializing with the upper city. Seems he and his pompous friends are a special exception. I have a really good method of getting people to change their mind about everything. <laughs> Is it that and little it toothpick in your in pocket? Waist. Yes, it is. <laughs> it picks so more than teeth. Every group gets stranger and stranger. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so if... I, I, I hope this isn't um, prying too much, but if you weren't allowed to fraternize... Not, fraten, turtonize, uh, fraternize. With, fraternize. Thank you, thanks, Labor. Thanks, Labor. Uh, word can't read, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you weren't allowed to talk with other people um do you, do you do you have any friends in the city or what do you think uh, <clears throat> well uh, i mean I, I i guess i'm confused then where the what is your heart uh, this ring is it from somebody i didn't have a proper dragon heart developed when i was young and so they assigned me one Usually a piece of jewelry is the easiest one to attune to. I'll huh. um, look at the ring. That's mm -hmm. just Is there anything special about it, or is it literally just like a small brass ring with nothing? Uh, you can give me either an in, uh, investigation, a history, religion of your choice. Shoot. Uh... Those are all bad. What's my... <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Investigation. Okay, investigation. Yeah! You can tell can't this be is stopped. this is just a <laughs> typical just like off-brand dollar store ring that somebody mm. got. It's got like a little spider on it. <laughs> plastic spider. <laughs> yes, there's there's chips and like It used to be like a ring pop, but mm -hmm. the, the candy's gone. Okay. At, at the very least, it's made out of just like cheap metal. Cheap metal. Yes. Uh imitation okay. metal of things that are more valuable. Hmm. Wow, this is a real piece of crap. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry that your heart is crap. Uh, it's okay, I've come to terms with that. It's pretty a uh, good summary of the whole job, really. Yeah, that's fair. You, you must have um, family, though, right, in the city? I mean, this is where you grew up. I know you were pretty young when you became the dragon. Listen, I'm not here to give you a whole biography of my my life. Oh, I, I'm not asking for a biography. I'm just making conversation, I suppose. I'll, I'll just be quiet. Give me a persuasion check. Hmm. I'm not very good at persuasion. Where's my persuasion? I don't know. Hmm. Well, uh, I never really knew my parents. I was part of an orphanage, and they found my late my hidden power. And they took me in, and trained me, and taught me about being a dragon, and gave me that ring. They said that I need to swear my heart into something so that I may protect the realm and feed the life tree. I performed a rich, a very sacred ritual of which the information is kept very close to the chest within Olynthia officials and dragons, so that nobody can simply become one without proper vetting. By Tehero, though. Yes, by Tehero. He does seem rather worryingly hooked into the whole affair. If you will, if you want to stretch the definition, he was the closest thing I ever had to a father. My condolences. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That's a dead childhood, right there. Yes. If the closest thing is an entire continent away, <laughs> he was very strict. Yeah. Anyway, shall we get going? Yeah, that guy's Sorry. insufferable, and we're gonna go poke him with a toothpick. <laughs> she just a toothpick? <laughs> Several toothpicks. <laughs> well, see how that pans out. Me too. She grabs onto the cart, lets you guys climb up on her back, 
and lifts off gently, making sure to not tip over the horses or spook them too much as her remaining wings kind of flap very rapidly, gently lifting her <laughs> like a dragonfly. <laughs> That's crazy. A full ornithopter. You know, I love flying, but I never thought you could do it like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, she starts to lift you up in the air and gently carry you back from Old Deosia towards the border of uh, Trevisetta. And along the way, she seems lost in thought. I hey, nudge uh, Fritz. Can I nudge Fritz? <laughs> I was going to nudge later. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys talk to this one. You, guys, you guys say something. Say something to her. Oh, I don't know if we should be c- comparing orphan notes. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I why, why did you? Better. Why did you nudge the two? Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, I, it's I have a I, good father. Thank you. Thank you. I'll cast no, a message no. and just be like, "It's because I don't really want to talk to her." Just <laughs> <laughs> well, just a bad Just it's easier to I don't know. Just try and say something. Okay. Um. Did Did you have any friends at the orphanage? No. Orphanage. <laughs> she said she was an orphanage, right? Yeah, she oh. did. Oh, okay. She did also say that she had no yeah, friends, though, true. so. <laughs> oh, fuck, I missed sure that. that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no friends, huh? Like, wow, not even one? That's crazy. <laughs> Any that real. I can't imagine. Can be me, anyway. <laughs> Anyone who came close, besides the occasion, was usually the occasional guard, but they'd usually get rotated out or reassigned or fired. But sometimes I wonder if that's just because we were friends. Hmm. Or at least getting to that point. If you were kept so isolated, what purpose beyond just being a dragon do you think they had for you? I don't think they had one. Now that's weak. That's just poor planning. All that effort. Wasted. Do you have any idea why Lord Tejero wanted us to arrest you? Make an example. Anyone who crosses him, if they get away with it, might make him seem weak. He likes to put on this big strong man persona. That's my and guess. It, it, is he, in, in reality, like a strong man? I mean, I, we haven't really seen him fight, but there must be some reason he's able to command the amount of respect and power that he does. From what I know, he doesn't need to. He has a linchpin hold on so many businesses that the entirety of Alinthi is reliant on not the least of which Trevisetta itself. He practically owns it. You try buying a potion that's not got his name all over it when you're in desperate need of any sort of healing. And of course, he's leading the research team that is curing this new disease I'm hearing about. Yes, that situation is rather more suspicious than I think he'd like it to be framed as. They're pumping gunk down people's throats, making them sick. It's not some contagious thing. She, you can see that she seems to think on this a little bit. Is there anything maybe you did notice, you know, in your tight-lipped community that you definitely shouldn't have talked about and didn't know what was? Anything especially weird that maybe we would benefit from knowing? She seems to squint her eyes a little bit and thinks on this. Like, a minute of silence passes. Although... It doesn't seem as though she's dodging the question entirely before she finally speaks up. Give me a reason to trust you, pilgrims. I want to, but I can't. Hmm. Can I take out the Imperium fetters and just throw them on the ground while we're like while we're flying? What are those? The those things are, we were supposed to things. arrest her with. Oh, yeah. Just toss them off. Can I just back. chuck them? Can I just, like, mm. see, say see you later? I mean, I don't know if that sparkles with the group, but I'll do that. <laughs> That's fine. I wasn't going to use them. <laughs> Honestly, all I have are words, and I'm, I'm pretty true to them for the most part. She sees you chuck them off her back and flying down. I'll ex- I can explain, like, the, we were given these to uh, I think we explained catch. them. Oh, I, I think you did, oh, yes. Yeah, 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 I think yeah we last did. time. Yeah, we did. I think yeah, we, we led did. with, we're not going to arrest you with these things. <laughs> Yeah, I take them and like, oh, here, yeah, that that's that's understandable, and I'll just, <laughs> just chuck them. <laughs> well, that was drastic. Uh, yeah, they smelled like Tahero anyway. I was privy to some information that isn't usually shared with the public. Being dra- dragon does have its benefits, I guess. 
But the blot is a curse. No matter what they would tell you, it's something that somebody conjured up. It's not a natural thing, as much as the propaganda likes to tell you otherwise. Mm -hmm. Something the old Deoceans must have devised some long time ago during their invasion, some 300 years ago, when the Life Tree was still young. And the scholars have been researching its origins and have found some sort of connection between them, so it might not be as ancient as we thought. It might be so the, even younger than Alinthi. Came from like the same time as the tree. I wouldn't, I don't know that I would make that sort of leap, but I don't know, I don't have all the pieces. Whatever the case, it was something the Deoceans might have devised when, in their desperation, since the life tree and the dra and the dragons were much too strong for them to conquer, and it seems as though Deocia destroyed itself with powers it didn't understand. But that's that's a working theory that a lot of the scholars seem to have. Huh. They've yet to release this information to the public because they're still fact checking it all, and they're planning to print history books. Some draft copies can usually be found in Trevisetta's grand libraries. Hmm. Might be worth looking into for you people that can read. Yes, I don't want to be particularly mercenary about this, but what exactly is our plan for when we get back to Trevisetta? I was gonna say, like, um, we were supposed to arrest you, and we're about to land riding on your back. Um, are they not gonna? Are they gonna be? They're not gonna be happy about you back, are they? I know Tahero, and I'd say you're getting ready for a fight. Well, we uh, have the heart, so we've got what we need, at least as far as currency is concerned, but. I mean, hmm. I think we've all talked. I mean, there's a we. This place needs a dragon back, um, and that needs to be resolved. Then again, from the way you framed it, it doesn't sound like you have a tremendous amount of pull with the way the city is managed. No, unfortunately not. Okay, but we do all of this. My only question is, let's say we do all of this and we win, right? Mm -hmm. What state do we leave this place in? Better question. There's an entire city there. An entire city that surprisingly has a lot of trust in Lord Tejero. Hmm. They don't see his rule as tyrannical. They see it as benevolent, as a gift that he's given them. Of course, desperate people are willing to cling to anything. We all know they're being misled. I think as long as we leave this place without the people who are clearly poisoning it, we'll leave it in a better, in some better way. I sure hope so. I think the testimony of some of the people who've been afflicted with the illness, the fact that it is not a natural ailment and is instead being inflicted on people could potentially be the sort of revelation that would shake a city's trust in their alleged leader. As far as I understand it, and I, I understand that the, you know, the government works alongside, for the most part, the dragon, but everywhere else we've been, the dragon serves at least some kind of checks and balances when things have been going wrong. And that is the case in Trevisetta. So long as we can get the people to understand that and perhaps get a dragon, you know, that is able to recognize the issues and take Tahero to task, I think we'll have left the city in a better state than the one we found it in. Hmm. I feel like we still don't know enough. Something's going on in Trevisetta that I think runs deeper than we've been able to piece together. And I worry that it might not be a clean fix. But at this point, I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't take care of the, take care of the, uh, the life tree and then come back and try and fix things here. We are carrying some very valuable dragon hearts, and I think the longer that we tarry, the more we endanger them. And the curse made from Old Deosia uh, is the thing that's hunting us for these hearts, which, again, doesn't really have a fully clear explanation. Yeah. Look, I, I, I'll, I'll like sort of address Word and Lara and Fritz. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really. I'm not really 
sure what our plan was when we started this out. I mean, I, I know we didn't all expect to be to have to deal with anything besides the trip to Carency at the end of all this, but what should be what's been made clear to me through whether it's Basque or Politrios or Tigamura, we have an opportunity here to try and at least do some good. I mean, people look up to the pilgrims and respect the pilgrims and I think we've been we've proven that we've got the ability to change some things. I just I don't know. When this is all over, if we get to Carencia, if we're going to have that same chance. I mean, I, I, as far as I know, Tahero, he's going to have a plan figured out to deal with us at the time, you know, whenever it is we get back. And I don't, and I guess this is the first time I'm saying it out loud, I don't want to return to Satya without feeling like we did something than some sort of glorified catch and grab mission of just dropping off a bunch of random junk at a tree in the middle of nowhere. I would expect that we may need to contest Lord Tejero a little bit regardless, because I don't think he wants us to be the ones to deliver the hearts either way. The one thing that I've seen throughout our journey, we came out here, I didn't really care too much about Cor Corencia. It's all a matter of just going on an adventure, seeing the state the world's in, and taking charge. And this guy has done that, and he's making shitty changes. Which means, to me, he's in our way for the long-term safety of this place. The life tree dying apparently isn't the end of the world, but this guy, he's just as likely to cause it. So I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, okay, well that answers my question and concern. Oh. Yeah, no more concerns. He, he will not leave. I was gonna say, it doesn't seem like the sort of guy to just give up. Nah. Yeah, that, well, that's what I was saying. I know a way to make everybody give up and change their mind. I'm not and entirely sure that's how waist. political assassinations tend to shake out. Eh, you just kill the people who respond to the assassination, too. Uh, Eventually, that trickle down, nobody knows what to do, and it all falls apart. I think maybe we should try and have a plan that isn't just kill everybody who notices that we're killing people. But let me ask this of the three of you so that I can understand before we pit ourselves against the forces of Trevisetta. Do you really think that we're able to do some good here by doing what we're doing? We've got the we've got the heart. We can just leave. You hear Pavita just like overhearing this. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I'm working on instinct here. Well now I want to do it out of spite. <laughs> I think we don't fully understand what's ailing Trevisetta, and you can't cure something if you don't know what it is. But I don't think we're going to learn more by running away. I just worry that we might have some difficulty navigating it when we come back with the person we were supposed to arrest. Very much not arrested. Although I suppose that becomes a you problem very quickly, and we might be able to use that distraction to get some investigating done. Mm. She turns her head to uh, a little bit to look are you going to pretend to be on Tahero's side? I don't know if we'd be particularly good at that, but nah, we did I... tell him. He did send us out to get you, and we have returned with you. Look, I, I guess the the point I'm making is... Should uh, we go get uh, those handcuffs? No, no, no I mean... <laughs> They're like three miles back. No, we should not get the handcuffs. <laughs> I, think, I think I agree with what Pavita is, I think, perhaps trying to say. This whole time, we've been stum we've been stumbling into being heroes. I mean, that's how we got here for this. If I'm gonna do something good, I want to do it with both both feet on the ground, and I want to do it with my whole chest. I want to, if I'm gonna do something good for Trevisetta, like at least for once in my life, I want to make sure that I'm doing it for the right reason, and I wanna I want to make sure that that's what I'm doing. I want this to be a choice. I don't want to leave this up to chance. Oh. That's a first. Then what's the plan, pilgrims? Hide your hand, play along. We really gotta know what our cards are. And when we get there, I have an informant who's gonna help us out. That's good. Um, and then I will use, so really quick, we saw the all the criminals and this, maybe the sick people out working beyond the walls, right? Yes. And they are physically able to do heavy labor and like there's a good amount of them too just right? barely yes mm -hmm. okay 
you see that going... you remember that they were like very much malnourished, but they're able to do the work. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. yeah. They're they're at the edge. They need some kind of relief. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my ring of certainty. Ah. <gasps> and learn oh. the DC of rallying these guys to fight <laughs> against Trevisetta. These guys, as in the prisoners? Yeah, so you may know the DC to complete a task and what the outcome of passing or failing will be. Okay. The DC will be a... Since you have talked with uh, Torellin himself and maybe inspired mm -hmm. a little bit of hope in him, I'll say the DC will be a 19. Okay. And should you pass, you will have friends that will uh, you will have many prisoner friends who will assist you in subterfuge in learning more about Trevisetta's machinations Lord Tejero's machinations and plans um in ways that allow them to blend in kind of more more espionage rather than a revolution out in the open okay so okay that, that's how I would be able to use them mm -hmm. you would and be able to use it... them as essentially makeshift spies okay and um, if I were to fail? If you were to fail, they would simply continue on as they were, and you uh, will draw the attention of a few guards who will suspect you of okay. of rising up against Trevisetta and foul play. It would immediately, yeah. It would be communicated to Tejero that I am, that, what is it? You're attempting a coup, it, yeah. essentially. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And my eyes open again. We have a lot of people who would want to be on our side if we play our cards right. I think we should get them first. Hmm. Oh, actually, in hmm. addition to the prisoners, you would also rally the downtrodden and struggling due to the reputation you've gained from uh, Lara's act of kindness helping a poor woman and her wife. Oh, heck yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. So even more help yeah. as well. We need that. That would be a pretty good, pretty good thing to have. It would also be great if they can help us immediately steal goods from <laughs> Trevisetta. <laughs> like genuinely, that's how wars are won: is you take the resources that your enemies use as leverage. Mm -hmm. All right. If you could wait twenty-four hours, I can get enhance ability on my spell list and give you <laughs> advantage on that check. <laughs> Okay, that, that would be great. And also, we need more than 24 hours. I think we're nearing the end of the final day that I need before uh, nonstop begonias. Mm -hmm. that Gives is true. me a bunch of info on Trevor. Uh, is it Tahero, or did I tell him to tell me about the lady? He was very kind of vague on it. He said he would go snoop. Okay. And he's been snooping. He's been snooping. I will confirm that he will return tomorrow. Okay. With some useful information only a demon of his ilk is able to achieve. Okay. Yeah, so even just I above character, the problem is um, we have everything set to start this big like espionage thing where we learn all the evil things they're doing, we set up our pawns against theirs, and then we start playing. Mm -hmm. But we're bringing a giant dragon to yeah. the front door before we can do that. Yeah, that's kind of like when it's like, what's our plan? It's mostly like, what's her plan? Like, what what is yeah. she going to do? You can ask well, her. look, she's sitting right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think we're going to attempt to take a more subtle approach before we make any moves, but... um. Subtle is somewhat precluded by large, shiny dragon. Do you have any thoughts on this? I would like to be in my dragon form, just for self-protection, if it's all the same to you. And I think showing a larger display of power might lend my words a little bit more strength whenever I name a successor. The general public usually doesn't fuck with a dragon. I see. That's true. We can, if... But that's an enormous asset. It... Oh, and uh... you picked somebody to name. Dang it. I was going to argue that more. <laughs> is um is the plan for then word you want to go to the the prisoners and talk to them and then Lara want to go talk to maybe some of the common folk if that's the case then Fritz and I can accompany the dragon to uh we can accompany Pavita to Tejero and have her address the the town. I don't I, think it would be a good idea to make me try and persuade people of anything. No. 
I think we should just go together, rally two sets of people, and then you help me work on my wording with your magic. Yes, I, I think we... But we have to wait. Tomorrow. Yes, we need to take this slow. I... <sighs> Maybe we can't before we get there? Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to suggest. Okay. I feel like well, there's kind of of Leo. can't <laughs> think of... We can't seem to... We want to do it subtly, but we don't. We want to do subtly. Um, we want to do subtle. Yeah. But if we require, if we try to rally people up, that's not exactly subtle, so... No, there are ways that we can do this subtly. We, If we return to the city with some sort of cover story about why we were unable to arrest the powerful and terrifying dragon... Whilst riding on her back? Well, we were unable to arrest her, and then she kindly offered us a lift. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know. Someone who's good at lying come up with something. But the point is, if she becomes a very large, very visible target of attention, it does, in fact, make it easier for us to go around, learn whatever information we need, and stir up whatever potential allies we may be trying to find among the people of Trevisetta. So we just gonna leave her? Yeah, I don't really know. I'm just because it seems I'm like our options for are. Her safety is the only thing. We leave her on the outskirts of the city, which would be kind of weird because we just we're, we're bringing her back now. But if she goes in there, even in dragon form, she's gonna get arrested. <laughs> she kind of chuckles. It's funny that you're concerned for my safety. I've been doing this for thirty years, you know. Well, if yeah, we can but... cut her loose and rely on her expertise. <laughs> It would certainly make our jobs easier. So then what's your plan? What are you going to do when you get there? I'm worried, because, you know, they had handcuffs that could hold a dragon. Yeah. The odds are not in our favor yet. So, uh, speaking to Pavita, what's your plan? My plan is get in, shout out my successor, and get out. But if your plan requires me to be there... I need some convincing. Because admittedly, I don't want to stay another second in that city. To be honest, I don't mind that plan. I think that would, uh... <laughs> but if As you a dragon, do you criminals... just have to announce a su successor? Is that how it works? Usually there's a bit more bureaucracy involved, but considering that I hadn't made one yet, considering my abrupt departure, this might at, at least be a public announcement. Wait, then wouldn't it be safer for us to basically take the position of protecting the successor? Because I doubt they're going to be happy that they the successor isn't who they want. Yeah, that'll put him in danger. Whoever they are, yes. Oh, we know who it is. We it's do? The, yeah, the dragon god knight. Oh, I remember. Yes, master. yes, yes. Well, we wanted him safe anyway. He's cool. <laughs> so, why don't we grab him? In a, in a nice way. Not like a physical, I'm, I'm abducting you way in a Hi, you're in danger, kind of way. Oh, okay. I'd happily still grab him if you need me to. <clears throat> More th the issue is that you're naming him as your successor, but you're not sticking around to make sure he actually gets indicted. Unfortunately, that part is out of my hands. I could shout to the rooftops, and I'm not the one who gets to officiate that. The concern is more that he might get conveniently assassinated before any sort of ritual of transference takes place. The odds are infinitely high. They're trying to make Lord Tejero the next dragon. I don't think they're going to honor your claim on the next successor. The public may, but the people who we're trying to oppose are going to try and take action against that. He's that is, going to be in immediate danger. That is very true. He's definitely made a name for himself, so Tejero knows that firing him out of the blue for minor misdemeanors would look suspicious, but... His reputation has been waning as of late since he's been put on smaller duties that doesn't get him in the public eye as often. And if I ran a city that had two separate police forces, I could just pretend that they don't like each other enough to have him killed by the guys who I'm not responsible for. Or he could simply fall victim to that plague that he's been dealing with. That'd be very extremely convenient. Why don't we make sure we you know, grab him first before we start 
doing anything. I just oh, the order of look after him. I'm just confusing. yeah. I want to make sure that he is next to us when this is announced, so he doesn't conveniently keel over. Um. What if we like stole Lucia Bass Tan instead? Why would we do that? Then you would be committing. Then we a... would have a unified front. Then you would be considered terrorists that just kidnapped someone. We are planning terror right now. No, we are planning espionage. <laughs> Those are completely different it's the crimes. Same thing. No, they're different crimes. This is important. <laughs> <sighs> Look, we need to get Fine. a good night's sleep anyway. Things um, to take out of context. No, we're not planning terror. We're planning espionage. Totally it's different crimes. Espionage. <laughs> Duh. I and just want to make terror. sure we protect this guy. Also, it's very valuable to now have the announced dragon on our side. You know, kind of a good thing. Very well. Perhaps, what mm -hmm. if I propose I land, and after you've secured Arzir, you can message me with something. You're you are have spell casting of some sorts, yes? Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, I mean, word does, right? Something like that. I could send you a squirrel with a note attached, but <laughs> it's not really my specialty. <laughs> Look, I, this, I, and I, maybe I can propose something. Um, I understand that no man rules alone and there's a great number of people that have, um, I guess, that are upset with how things are going in Trevisetta. There's people that are sick, people that are imprisoned. And I think what, for what we've been able to tell from my experience with Father Omar or what we've been able to gather from uh, Lord Tejero is that he's somewhat behind it. There's a conspiracy to do exactly what I don't know, but they're... Um, to, I don't understand what the conspiracy is for, but there there's something afoot, and I think if uh, Pavita can help us figure out exactly what that is, if she's able to help us, if, if she's able to demand answers, and if the people were to hear those answers, I mean, who knows? They might. It'd be difficult for Tahero to maintain his popularity and not give in to the wishes of the admitted protector of Trevis. So you think we should work on a speech? Well, I just thought of something that we could do if we so desired. Assuming that stealth and espionage is the desired approach to get more information before we start stabbing anybody. Um, what if we came back with the story that we attempted to arrest the dragon and it didn't work on account of how she is a dragon. She kindly provided us with the heart and told us to leave. We come back with empty hands. Pavita sequesters herself somewhere nearby. And we don't need to worry about almost any of the problems that come with bringing a very large, very loud, no offense, very shiny dragon with us into the city when we are attempting to be stealthy. Wait, so run me through the start of that again. <laughs> we tell Lord Tejero basically what happened, except instead of telling him, and then we convinced her to come with us, we tell him, and then she told us to leave. And, uh... And she stole those shackles. Kicked and our threw asses a little bit. Three miles away. She did something very dramatic to them. I don't know. Uh, we come back empty-handed. He's disappointed, but perhaps not surprised. He did send us into a bit of a death trap with that one. But we do have the dragon heart. We could potentially leave after a few days rest. I, I guess I'm I wary about playing the espionage game and the lying game with uh, with Tahero. I feel like that's the game that he wants us to play. I, I feel like there's there's something he going on here. He doesn't to be good at it. I, well, I, I think there's something going on here, and the only way that's going to come out is if we make them tell us what that is. And with the dragon behind <laughs> us, I think we have a good shot of learning how we can best help these people. And I don't think it's going to be through the slits of a jail door from Torellin. That's just never been my experience. I think we need to hear it from the horse's mouth, and we have to make this Tahero guy tell us what is going on. Okay, I think we're coming to an impasse, so... Mm. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so, 
I, I hear two plans, two ensuing plans before the continued espionage plan of like finding out more information, but the uh, the initial execution, I'm hearing two different plans. One, Pavita hides and you mm -hmm. make up a story about how you were unable to best her, but you still got the heart and will go on your merry way so that you don't have as much eyes on you when you investigate further. The mm -hmm. other I'm hearing is have Pavita with you um, to potentially bolster yourself up a little bit when you present this um, and potentially yeah. have her go with the guards. See, the thing to me is that if we do the, uh, oh, here she is, we got her, but we clearly didn't arrest her in any meaningful way, then we don't really come across as being on the side of team bad guy. But if we're like, sorry, we did our best and she kicked our asses, they don't have reason to necessarily mistrust us. They just think we're incompetent. Um, yeah, which, which is, they could arrest us for. They could, potentially. I mean, Tahero clearly still wants to, like, take over the depositing of the heart's job anyway. So, like, neither yeah. of these are great options, but, you know. It would be great if we had effective disguises and one person went back acknowledging the risk of getting arrested while the others went to work without, like, you could say that we died. Or I could mm. say that everyone else died. <laughs> well, I, think, I can I polymorph think my... one person and wild shape into something else. So polymorph would be awesome. Ta polymorph only lasts that's one only hour. Beasts, though, yeah. Yeah, I we could we're... we could be a couple innocent wildcats. Or just not even go. Yeah. <laughs> we could all hide. <laughs> one person comes back like, oh yeah, she kicked all our asses and killed a bunch of us, but we got the heart, yeah. so you know whatever. I think the big that. thing that the, the I think maybe the difference where I'm coming in from this, I think, is mm -hmm. um, at this point, my my thought process is, Buck, is that um, like we're going in. We've found out that this this whole I, I guess my situation is this whole thing is messed up. Mm -hmm. Tahero is like willfully like undermining like the will of like the people. He's much better at hiding his secrets than we, I think yeah. we will be at finding them. And my, I guess where Buck is at right now is I like we have now that we have the dragon with us. I want to, I think it's, time, the time has come to confront him about what is going on after being, um, yeah. uh, threatened, I threatened think that's by, threatened by Omar. Where, um, where Word would disagree with you the most is, yeah. um, my thinking as Word is that I agree with all of that up to the point where you think that it will be very difficult to find his secrets. Uh. <laughs> we have a surprising amount of ins to get those, and then we can act in the same way that everyone agrees we should. Yeah, because, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna, just so that we don't continue this discussion for much longer, I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it up to a player vote of uh, okay. the two plans, go in and with the dragon, or go in hiding the dragon. Uh, okay. So, uh, one in the chat for going in with the dragon, two in the chat for going in hiding the dragon. Uh, just so we can chat. The, uh, the, yeah. Sorry, the um, roll 20 chat, just so we can count. Okay. So we're not talking two over Two is each hiding other. the dragon? Two is hiding yeah. the dragon. Or zero if you abstain. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I, I think you get the, the final vote if we all disagree. <laughs> Yeah, I th I'm fine with that. The DM kind of picking like, okay, I, ha well, I have a better we can do, feeling about What I like this. to do is I like to coin flip um, if Ooh. because oh, oh, I don't like to make ah. the decision for the player. That's a, my 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 position. I should make clear. I really don't care as much as about how we go in with the dragon. So long as uh, we get the my bigger concern is I want to confront Tahero like with everything. But I don't really yeah. care how we get to that point. Okay. I think the main uh, I think we're all in agreement. Our hands are empty right yeah. now. Yeah, I think we're in agreement right. that we should confront Tahero eventually. But mm -hmm. I don't think yeah. where we are right now is the time to about come how to and go, swing it. How to go yeah. about it? Yeah. Uh, boy, yeah. I'm sorry. I want to hear your opinions on. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. What's Fritz's take on all this? Um. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay. Um. I just, I don't think this guy is going to let us come back empty-handed is the biggest thing. Yeah, but if we come back riding the enemy of the state, <laughs> I don't know how that's going to be too much better. <laughs> yeah, they're kind I of both bad. <laughs> exactly, that's, a, that's what, what I think. One of I think us he's... pretends to be the dragon. You have a polymorph, right? 
I have a low level polymorph. He is me, the dragon. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a. I like, wish I had disguise. Polymorph self. is not disguise self, unfortunately. Yeah. Sucks I think potentially I could make somebody a dragon if, if <laughs> several levels, but it's not going to be this dragon. We found one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I even have a disguise kit. So. What the heck? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Jeez. I don't... Buck, give me your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> just peel it off and slap it on we'll me. I'll trade our outs. <laughs> I do think. I think I will go. Although we're taking it quiet and slower, I I don't really like how any of these are going, but I no. can't think of anything else. We're in a bad situation here. That's kind of good. And that's okay. That that's okay risky. with yeah. yeah. That's okay with me. I, yeah. Very well. Like, that's, All right. That's, that's that's fine. Relaying this plan to Pavita, she questions, and is there a time I should leave or come back, or is that where we part ways and I can go home? We need you to announce a successor. I definitely uh, think you need to we do We just, just need time and information. All right. Is there we somewhere? want to make sure that your successor is actually safe and going to be your successor. That's the main thing we're worrying about. I guess. We can maybe wait until we actually confront Tahiro and then maybe give you some kind of sign and then you can... I don't have anything. Oh, with the freaking... What's the, the little twink guy in his armor? Do you <laughs> have rocks that could talk to him? Yes, but Excuse he has me. the other one that does that. <laughs> Where did he go? He went, uh, oh, uh, he went to, uh, Tigamura, didn't he? God damn it. It's not I'll that right far. Back. What? <laughs> Actually, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Butterscotch, let's ride. <laughs> Butterscotch is Don't you have, don't you have send, no one has like sending or anything like that? No, I just I have I think it's message. a wizard spell. What's it, what's the, can't you use message to message her? Message has uh, a range of 100 feet. 120 feet. feet. Yeah. Oh, uh, damn. I was thinking, I was confusing them too. Well then, I guess when we find a safe place, I'll drop you off and I'll hurry up and wait. But you have okay. one day. Oh, if you God. don't contact oh. me by the end of tomorrow, I'm leaving. How about 24 hours after we wake up? She just kind of like shakes her head, whatever. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's better. That gives us like six extra hours. <laughs> Good work, word. And yeah. that's why you're our team's diplomat. Agreeing to this plan, Pavita approaching kind of the areas that she knows the guards patrol, hides out, kind of slowly comes to land and finds a secluded area to hide out in. She relays that she has learned a lot about the wilderness in her like month out in Old Deosia, mm. and she'll be able to handle herself. And you guys it was just a month. are back on the ground with your cart.jpg. Yeah. As you guys land, uh, and Pavita lets you off, tells you that you have 24 hours um, by uh, to message her in some way, let her know what the next leg of the plan is and if she is needed, or Were else we she not will... camping first. I don't think that made it into the plan. I okay. I'm a, I'm assuming it's not that far of a flight. Like, no. Yeah. No, okay. She can make it okay. there in like an hour. Mm. Jesus. Okay. Speedy. Very speedy. Yeah. But yes. Ooh. So you guys ride on back on your cart.jpg back to uh, Trevisetta, passing by a few people who don't pay you much mind, passing by Word's plot, of which you know now how it looks. <laughs> it's a plot <laughs> of Cannon land. free. Mm -hmm. Not full of guards. Mm -hmm. And uh, on your way, you heading to the gates, you see a arcane projection, an illusory projection of Lord Nicholas Tejero expectantly waiting for you, and he has a scowl on his face. Huh. Oh. Can't even meet us in person. That's fun. We're getting his answering machine. His arms are crossed, and you see he is flanked by several guards, including uh, Ardzir, who is there as well. Ah, real guards. All right, everybody look beaten down and injured. <laughs> Punch me. What? Well, Did you not take any enough, damage when we were in the swamp? You are pretty beaten down and injured, so. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I look fine. Uh, if you could see my low spell slots, he'd really appreciate how much we got our ass beat by that swamp. As you approach, he scowls his eyes, and his arms are crossed, and uh, he looks to you, 
and just says out of his illusion, I take it you have a very reasonable explanation as to why you came empty-handed. Yeah, you know what? That fight was so much harder than you explained it to be. I know we were fighting a dragon, but that was nothing like everything we fought before. She handed our asses to us like it didn't even matter. And the Empyrean fetters I gave you were of no help? She threw them in the fucking swamp. You didn't give us a second pair. I'm going to take that in good faith that you didn't simply hand them to her. Why would we do that? She handed us to ourselves, beaten and bloodied. We did kind of walk in, have to fight our way through blot, and then fight a dragon with less ideal circumstances and already beaten down. I'm curious how many guards you've sent in there already. The swamp was rather littered with unfortunate corpses in various states of decay. I think it's fairly reasonable that we did a little better than them by even coming back and continuing our harrowing quest we still have those hearts yeah if you want us to like go and grab one of those corpses and bring it back and you can yell at those corpses for not doing their job correctly either we can go back and get them i mean we'd have to fight through everything else we fought through to get back here <sighs> again is then i am safe to assume that you did not secure her heart either no why is that surprising why are you looking at me <laughs> he just looks down as he, he rubs his forehead. This has been a colossal waste of time. Well, yeah. I'm glad we agree. Now, if you don't mind, we've had an extremely long and trying day. And if we have any hope of saving Olynthia as a whole, we're going to need to try again at some point. So I think we need our rest. He signals over to the guards. They step aside. And uh, Arz Arzir kind of looks to you. He looks, his eyebrows are just kind of like, a little raised, and he looks a little bit saddened at this. And Aww. it seems as though he's about to say something, but he holds his tongue. Okay. We better Should front we... him later. We'll, we'll deal with him later. <laughs> For now, back to the end. Let's just really appreciate that we didn't need to roll any dice for that and, and just move yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, he trusts in your incompetence. That, that much See, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> okay, okay. That's that's a good thing to have. I was going to like shoot message over to him when we were out of line of sight, but if he thinks we're stupid, that's fine. <laughs> I think we're talking about Lord Tejero, not Arzir. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> both both of them probably. <laughs> I think Arzir was probably like, hmm, maybe something's going on, mm. but Tejero was okay, just like, oh, yeah, these guys are stupid. That makes sense. <laughs> It's not surprising. Everyone else he sent there died. Us coming back means that we're surprisingly more capable. Maybe he just thinks that everybody who leaves Trevisetta just immediately fucks off into the wilderness and never comes back. Like, nobody <laughs> he ever sends out comes back, so he's just like, what do you Why mean they're dead? <laughs> I thought they went out for groceries. So yes, yeah. you guys are back oh. in Trevisetta. <laughs> as what have we done lazy. to this map? <laughs> I would like to pay for... God, how much is the premium stay for all of us? 200? Woo. At, at Fue Casa? I think so. We, Let me Because we get, we get two hit dice of 10 HP and inspiration, which may be worth it considering what it is we Incredibly are trying to powerful, do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, also, we tried to stay at the worst inn and they wouldn't let us, so, like. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, she's scared of us because we asked yeah. her too many questions. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Can you all afford uh, staying here? It, I'm how happy much is to it pitch again? in my it's ten, it's ten. It's ten gold pieces for like a regular one, which gives you one hit dice of temp HP, and then fifty gold pieces for uh, a long rest that gives you two hit dice of temp HP and inspiration. I mean, we all got that bed. fish money. I can cover for me and Leira. Aw, you don't have to. I still have some of that fish money. <laughs> oh, yeah. We divvied that up, so technically you are paying for labor. Yeah. With your labor. <laughs> I'll pay for myself. I'll pay for I'll myself. Pay for you myself said well. it's... What was it for the... I'm gonna pay 50. 50? 50. 50. 50? Yeah. All right. Wow. Wow. I buy 50 gold. Um, I'm gonna put 45 on the table. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm slightly short. Can I get that for you tomorrow? <laughs> I just do a deception. I'm just being an ass really quick. Because, oh, yeah. are you yeah. saying yeah. that? Too? I'm trying to underpay by five gold. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> see if I can get away with uh, it. To the uh, the innkeeper? 
Yeah, the her. sultry, flirty and Yeah, where is she? <laughs> Let me show her portrait again real quick. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure. Um, where is she? Let's scoot ourselves up to that bar for now. Oh, you didn't think we were going to have a fight that involved cannons and then come in and sleep for the night? That's so weird. <laughs> so sorry. There we go. Clara, yes. And you're you're saying this to Clara. Yeah, give me a, give me a deception. Okay. To short her five gold. Thank God, I'm a rogue. Oh! <laughs> That's as low as you could have rolled without critting. She seems Actually. unconvinced. She just uh, kind of nods her head. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, do you guys have five gold? I got, I got five gold. I can spot Thank you. Thank you so much. I like go up to you and I like put an earnest hand on your leg and I'm like, you mean so much to me. You're so don't, helpful. Don't, don't push when it. I need Thank you. you for, uh, don't push it. We're, we're, I got him. I, I, here you go. And I slide the five gold. And she takes it and snatches it out of your hand. Thank you. Honestly, the restraint for her Word, to not make take... a crack at the I'm a little short thing. I know. Word, you can take your I hand said off that my and the leg. <laughs> really teed that one up for her. Insecure. Yeah. Word, get your hand off my leg. Take that. <laughs> You like kick him away. I accept the thank you. Get, Shoot. get off. <laughs> so tired. Yeah, it's been long. How beat up are my friends? I took one hit point worth of damage. I'm not too bad, but I did take a fair amount of damage. I got whacked a couple times. I'm over. I got hit in the face with a rock that one time. So, oh, yeah. you know, not Man, great. <laughs> for how precarious... The whole situation was word always gets away unscathed. I <laughs> took exactly eleven Gross. damage. I took and we're... Uh, nineteen and also some temp, so a little bit more than that. Yeah, I took a bunch of temp damage, so I don't mm -hmm. know. Oh yeah, my temp damage is gone. I'm just saying my actual. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So are we going to bed? Can we, should we roll our hit dice? Of, yeah, if you uh, wish, uh, when you go to bed, you may uh, get the benefits of a long rest, gain two hit dice of temp HP, and. An inspiration. Woo. Woo. Woo! I can put an inspiration on top of my inspiration. And yeah. just as a point of order, I'd like to remind us that we most of us have listening devices stuck in our room, so like no secret planning. Oh yeah. Just I can <laughs> still hear the guards though. Yes, you can hear the guards like talking on <laughs> oh, their yeah, little earpiece. Set off to all of that. You... Oh man, I have so many. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to hear kind of the general consensus oh, of what they're talking absolutely, about? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, they're all mocking you. They're all saying what losers, what idiots. They went out there and they 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 like to think oh, they had a plan, but they weren't. Good. They're just as incompetent as any of the mercenaries that were sent out. They think they're all hot shit. Word like gives out a sigh of relief. He studied the, the words of Sun Tzu. That is the <laughs> best place to be. That they think we're stupid, yeah. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong uh -huh. when you are weak. Yes, yeah, sounds we must look have been like really fucking parties. idiots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. With that, I, I'll just probably go to bed and wait for begonias and to get started. Yeah, you do go to bed, and uh, within your dreams, actually, you meet with begonias, oh. kind of almost like face to face. You are of his size and stature, as if you were the same size, and he... Oh, okay. You cast dream. Okay. Nonstop Begonias appears before you in your dreams. Hey, boss! I'm back! <laughs> Thank you. We actually... I desperately need your help right now. Shit's kind of going crazy. Oh, good. I always like being useful. And useful I'll be. I found a few things you might be interested in after some snooping. <laughs> Real quick, I, I'm bad with remembering my dreams. Will I actually remember what you tell me here? Oh yes, this is a new, okay, good. this is something that we in the other world like to devise. It's a preferable way to communicate somewhere uh, along the lines of a, what do you call it? A, a bridge. That way I don't have to walk all the way across. So currently I'm transcending out of my physical body and into another plane. Sure. <laughs> Perfect. Not only have I killed God, but now I'm <laughs> traveling across the universe. All right, hit me with it. Very well. I hope you're down for some light reading. <laughs> and he hands Can't you three items. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One you kobolds are so interesting. What looks to be a book. War with Deosia, Volume 1, Final Revision. 
The second is a, a pe several pieces of parchment kind of stacked together, labeled Redacted, Elinthi Lord Eyes Only. Ooh. Oh, God. And Baconias, I can't read. <laughs> this feels like I'm such a bad time up. to point that out. <laughs> the last yeah. one, a mysterious letter addressed to the king of the Underthrone. Excuse me? That's, wow. It was this satisfactory. It would be if I knew what the fuck any of these things said. <laughs> you gave me a book, a little piece of paper, and a circular piece of paper. Yes, uh. and? How are these valuable? <laughs> this- Are you gonna retain them when you wake up? Is this not what you mortals use, this writing? Oh, no, uh, some of them do. Uh, can I take this? I'm gonna need someone else to do this for me. <laughs> You let's go into can, Lyra's can, dream. Can you? How long is this dream? Can I? Let's go to Lyra's dream so she can read it. <laughs> Nonstop Begonia's smile slowly fades. Oh no, you I'm an idiot. Who knows? can't read. No, uh, not this language. This, this is common. Yeah, I, I'm more interested in pictographs, um, <laughs> old text where it's like little people doing dances. I, I can kind of get behind that, but no, 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 I, I can't read this. Nonstop Begonias lifts his hands, looks at them. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, if my face could get any red, it definitely would be red right now. I. Uh, <laughs> I imagine this will help, and I should be grateful, but um, if you don't have, like, a, a book on tape or something, it's going to take some time. Oh, what? I, his eye twitches, <laughs> <laughs> have held up my part of the bargain. Now it is your turn. I have to reconsider a few choices I've made. <laughs> Look, I, I will sow the chaos that you seek. I just can't read, and I hate that you're holding that against me so strongly. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make me any less ambitious. It just means I haven't been interested in libraries. I, I will think stuff. this over. Okay, and I will take these books into the realm of it. Can I do that? Can I actually take them back? You will find them in your pack in the morning then everything is the same as it was, and you're being sassy. <laughs> His eyes squint a bit. Have a good rest, boss. You too, Begonias. And I give a little, like, kiss on one of his abs. Or wait, we're the same size. I, I put it on, I plant it on his forehead. What? Uh? Isn't he big? No, we're the same they're size because we're in the mid-realm. <laughs> oh, right. I give him a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> you kiss well, on the forehead. <laughs> and your dream fades and when you wake up in the morning indeed as promised those oh. three pieces of writing are in your backpack it feels so weird to disappoint your sleep paralysis demon I know I, I feel bad but he's also incredibly <laughs> evil Yeah, very, very rude of him I think yeah, yeah. He's, he's just kind of dissing me for being disabled I don't know mm -hmm. oh, I don't know, I don't know that that's, <laughs> no, it's like he's right. evil or something <laughs> sorry um, pick a really bad time to get a grand cracker <laughs> there's never a bad time alright you motherfuckers wake up I have info <laughs> Uh, uh, no, you don't. I could never uh, find a stare you remembering were being recorded. <laughs> I know, but I have paper, and I just hold it up. I will take the things. I don't that know need what reading. it is, but it is super important. Oh, I think. It's really nice of you to get me that book. <laughs> and the morning newspaper as well. Let me see that. Yes, I just like giving my friends random pieces of information. I'm gonna like, uh like raise an eyebrow at Buck in such a way as to indicate that maybe he should do his like detect magic thingy and see if my room is still free of bugs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll uh I'll do magic awareness. Yeah, this is the room this is the room of which you took apart the bed, yeah? 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. well, I think. Something really yeah. funny to me about. I have this thing. No, you don't. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Stop. Okay. No, you're an idiot, remember? Wink, wink. <laughs> Magic awareness reveals that your room is safe. Okay. Ooh. They have right, not right. reinstalled any of the, the, uh, the government. Magical reading session, Lyra's room. Lyra, read us the book. I have plans to assassinate <laughs> political officials. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying it out loud, huh? Yeah. Go <laughs> <laughs> yeah. quietly. Quietly, yeah, within the room. Mm. <laughs> I mean, the rooms themselves the are soundproof. Yeah. You know, this is a oh, high what? end in. That's right. Oh. We paid 50 gold. For, this is where yeah, like, they better be. Those political officials go to do stinky business. <laughs> Which but, then uh, makes yeah. me more worried that they haven't seemed to have that cleaned in the last door. time that we yeah. that we were here. We, we put the little do not disturb placard on uh, the door yeah. so they didn't come in and do housekeeping. <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> okay, so there's a book and a scroll. And I don't. The way that he handed this to me, the look in his eyes, he was like, "This scroll is the big one." And then also a letter. Who handed this? Who to handed you? this to you? <laughs> yes. My informant. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Do you mean that that like goblin guy that you told us about? Yeah. Yeah, more or less. Look, I I live in a complicated a cop that a complicated world, and I don't have time to share it with everybody. Okay, I'm going to take the textbook and start flipping through it. Okay. okay. It's the War with Deosia. War with Deosia. And here I'm going to show, give you this text, but I'll read it out as it's a Yay. summary. Read Here's to the us. text in case you need to refer to it once again. Mm -hmm. You read. Oh. The war with, fought with Deosia and Alinthi 300 years ago, about 50 years after the life tree was discovered, and the kingdom oh. of Alinthi was established. The Deosians, a warmongering nation of people with a history of conquering lands, conquering lands, attempted to take Alinthi's life tree for themselves. In their efforts, they devised a plan to create a magical weapon with methods that have since been considered forbidden in Alinthi. There was it, uh, this resulted in the Blot, which was beyond the Deosians' control and contributed to their own downfall a few years later. The borders of which most battles took place have since become known as Old Deosia, and their military bases litter Alinthi as ruins in addition to those of the Old World before both nations. The book notes that this is in conflict with previous suspected information, that the Blot was a more ancient uh, thing and its origins unknown. This new information is thanks to the intense and continuous research by the greatest scholars of Alinthi. Their names are cited, and many of them are from Aguna and Politrios. Oh, shit. Okay, so we can actually trust these words. Maybe. Well, they're not all from Trevisetta, which helps. <laughs> um, yeah. But yes, uh, that is interesting. It, I think wait, that who, does answer many of our questions. When who we were published in the, this book? Is it propaganda? It's not published yet. This is a revision. Oh. Huh. It's possible that they would add or remove propaganda before it actually yeah. makes it to print. This does line up with what we saw in the ruins with the assorted ghosts and such. Yeah, that there was no blot before the battle, or before the end, I guess. Yes, although there are still a few unanswered questions from that situation. As well as the seeming weaponization of the life tree itself. I like the idea that you took like a good hour to read that aloud and weren't <laughs> sitting on the bed like kicking his feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any sort of speed reading or eidetic memory, so that probably is what happened. <laughs> okay, the next one. I give um, Buck the Elinthi Lord eyes only. Ooh. Well, right. you know, of course, I guess I can take a look at this. So, these are several pieces, pieces of parchment that are stapled Peaches. together, and uh, they are titled in large black letters, redacted Elinthi Lord eyes only. You read many blacked out sentences and paragraphs, catching only the occasional word here and there. Deosians, dragon ritual, a mysterious symbol that looks mm. like this. Mm. Mm. That's mm. new? That That's is new. It's, yeah. what? You see the words origins, mm. the tree, and most, mostly all of this results uh, in nonsense that cannot be gleaned as their contexts have been entirely removed. At the bottom of the last page, you see the final sentence not blacked out by ink. By swearing in, you take an oath for life that by your power, this information must not reach the public, else risk the entirety of the kingdom and all we have worked hard to build. 
Any who does not so, uh, who does so, must be considered an enemy of the kingdom and silenced by any means necessary. How many archaeologists have these people assassinated? Some of this we already knew. <laughs> if, do you think if someone cast like mending on this, we would just be able to read everything? I don't th think so. Huh. I, I can't. I don't know the context of this spell. I don't. Have let me. To. Let me. <clears throat> I don't think I. Every time I'm like, I'm not. I'm either gonna need mending today, or I'm not gonna need mending today. I don't think so much that it's broken, <laughs> which is what mending do. No, it's a cantrip, so you can't swap them. What? Do you? I don't think you prepare cantrips, do you? No, I don't think they're so. On this... I'm pretty sure mending really? you just have yeah. like, like a cantrip. No, they're on the. Don't you? I mean, it is on my spell list uh, as spells I know, but cantrips, they don't stop me from learning or... Yeah, so if you know oh, it, then you, no. then you just know it, have yeah. it. Huh? No, cause, well, because like, I still only have three slots of them that yeah. I can use per so day. So those are just the option. No, no, no. The, the cantrip, cantrip slots that you know means the cantrips that you choose to know out of the other, all the cantrips available. Cool. Yeah, you, I've you been doing this wrong. Uh, yeah, no, you don't swap them out. You just know them yeah, forever. You, yeah, you. Yeah, I don't think you. I don't think there's a way to change uh, cantrips. I think is maybe what. No. Great. Then let me change them back to what they knows. should be. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, An honest mistake. Probably doesn't include it, which is fine. It's just a crackpot theory. Five E well, spellcasting is very intuitive and easy to understand. That does explain why everything else it has prepare and prepared yeah. as the two options, and cantrips have learn and delete. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. It's um, cool. It's fine. So, so Diocians, the ritual. ritual. Yeah. What have, do simple. we? Can I do like Fuck, a? Fuck, that's his, nothing. <laughs> can I do a Sorry. history check to see if I recognize the? Does anyone recognize the symbol? You can, yes. yeah, anyone who I wishes mean, to can do a history check to see if what they can glean. Yeah, why not? Boy. Don't wait! <laughs> uh, what kind of parchment was it written on? <laughs> my wisdom's high, but my intelligence is so fucking low. Uh, was this, like, done in print, or was this done in handwriting and then blacked out? Uh, this was done in handwriting and blacked out. Ah, uh, I have a plan. And I, I think I have charcoal, too. What? Are you gonna make an impression of the paper? I'm gonna make an impression of the paper. Oh boy. But I don't know what it says. But that would be two separate Wait, imprints, imprints on the paper. Wait, I could paper. recognize this? Cause this would- Probably the symbol, but if we could just learn the whole thing. I would also note that uh, the symbol does basically look like the middle of the Elinthi symbol that's like on our Discord. Like it's, it looks like the middle bit of the fan thingy. Like a little chunk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or so. like a sprouting seed or something. Yeah. Know. yeah. Anyway. A little fire maybe. Would that be like a sleight of hand? I would say. Yeah. I sleight of hand. Use, I think. If you didn't want to use charcoal, I think I gave the ring to Layra that has like that pops out like chalk. I think. So you can oh. Do white. Oh. I don't have that because I can't write. <laughs> but let's yeah let's use that and then just another piece of paper. Whoa. Okay. All right. I was not anticipating this, so you'll forgive me if some of my words are a little I'm sorry. not as fancy. <laughs> oh, boy. But you are able to get a few of the bits of handwriting that have been blacked out um, by ink just due to the indents in the paper. It, it, ha it is a lot of it still fairly flat, but you're able to find a lot of it. And... Judging from context clues of the words you're able to find extra, this symbol is a part of the ritual to become a dragon. Mm -hmm. And that the ritual to become a dragon was learned from Deosia, not developed by Alinthi itself. Oh, well. What the hell is the tree? Okay, well that explains the <laughs> so dragon scales that we found on that throne. Yeah, um, I have yeah. one right here, and I pull oh, it out yeah. of my backpack. You're able to glean um, that the origins of the draconic transformation were from Deosia. So then why do their hearts need to be a part of the tree? There was there was one other thing we saw when we were in the ruin, um, having visions from those ghosts. The roots of the life tree seemed to be erupting out of the ground and attacking to a certain extent. So perhaps it is less of a peaceful nurturing thing 
and more of a, a artificial thing, a weapon, perhaps. So what if I think they fueled it? I think perhaps the kingdom fuels the tree, perhaps to an unhealthy degree, and the dragons rebalance the price. If we don't deliver the dragon hearts to the tree, then the life drains from the kingdom. That's another big question. Is is the blot connected to these three things? Like, if if we let the tree die, or if the hearts didn't exist, would they still be seeking us? Because that's what they're doing. They're looking for us with those hearts. If we didn't have them, would the blot even be here? Because it's a curse. I think it would be gone. Following maybe, this, maybe, or it would kill mm. all. Of following us. this line of thinking, um, I will say that getting this impression of the notes also reveals some words that are very close together in a sentence that you're not necessarily able to completely glean, but the words that are close together are blot, diosia, origins, tree. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So the tree is... Not a point for word. The blot the comes from the tree. I'm not sure of that, but I think that perhaps the blot and the tree share an origin. I mean, they're clearly connected. They're, Wait, they're, don't they're... trees have sap? Traditionally. So if you were to, like, tap the tree, would it just be, like, blot or something? Have I think you'd probably yet? get arrested. Um, oh, that's true. Or get really good syrup. It's true. Well, the, Both the, equally the likely possibilities. <laughs> Another thing I'm not certain about is the, the, the kind of coloration that works with the blot has been running through the people that have been getting this sickness here in town. It's not oil, yeah, it's like pulsing evil magic. The tree's origins are still unknown, but the blot's origins, judging by the the textbook, seems to have been that it was created artificially as a weapon of war between Diosia and Olinthi. It was on the Diosian side. Olinthi had the tree, Diosia had the blot. But if dragons, Maybe. if the dragon ritual came from Diosia and their hearts power the tree of Olinthi, and this was a dis- blot. Well, I'm not sure that's the connection, but I think I can see perhaps a reason why the war was waged in the first place. What does the last note that you have say word? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. More exposition. Say is, mm -hmm. from your all these things were stapled together. The dragon ritual and the blot and the tree and the Theosians. So they have to be directly related because if this shit reached the public, everything would fall apart, which means the connections there are ones that they don't want us to make might be making the right ones, but also he has a letter addressed to somebody from someplace. I don't know. I can't read that. I just know <laughs> that it's a letter because there's like wax on here. All right. Yep. And the final mysterious letter addressed to the king of the underthrone reads as follows. It's a single <laughs> short piece of parchment. This disease is proving quite lucrative to the potion business. Well done. Although we do seem to have a few prying eyes that may need to be shut for good if they stay much longer. Say the word, oh. and I'll be sure the pilgrims have to travel to Aguna with one member short. Well, that's nice. They're only playing on killing one of us. And oh, it's the good. short member. It's probably <laughs> word. <laughs> the, uh, I'm sure no, it's it not the person they actually. with one of their heard. members being short, so I'm safe. Oh that's yes, true. fuck! You might need they to be careful. For, yeah, they're going for the tallest one. No, this is a this isn't good, right? Like they're gonna. Th this is a. No, threat. of course this isn't good. <laughs> Who yeah. wrote that? It does not seem to be uh, signed, signed by, by anybody. anybody. Did, Did your informant not tell you where he got it from? No. Fritz, you had a question? Wait, but... So they... If we were prying eyes and were problem, wouldn't they just kill us all? So they do want us to finish this mission. Because the mission matters to them, not us. Maybe. I suspect that perhaps the delicate balance of the ecosystem centered on the life tree may be a little bit more artificial than it sounds, and if we fail in our mission, that information may become very widespread very quickly. They have a vested interest in us successfully delivering the dragon hearts without looking too far into why this system functions the way that it does. They may not, they may, that, this may be a reference to me, I mean, I was directly threatened by the Underthrown Society, so they may not suspect that every single one of us is looking into this. They may think I was going out by myself so looking for answers. Maybe. I, but I don't want to die as well. Um, <laughs> I don't think we were planning on that outcome. Okay, good. I just want to make sure. 
I have a very strong, blatant assumption of who wrote that letter, and the context clues are as bright as daylight. Okay. Well, there definitely that. there's there, there's only one person we know who's in the potion business. Exactly, one person who is still in the potion business, and that's the lady that I suggested we abduct. And it seems like maybe that wasn't a stupid idea, but uh, yeah, Jesus Christ, this is a lot of information. I thought House Baztan was in the mercenary business, and Lord Tejero was in the potion business. Nope, both. No, the Baztan have the the big potion business. The no, that just it, runs this. City. I, will, I will correct that. That is not right. true. Uh, Baztan ha! is oh, mercenary only. Ha -ha. Oh, really? Ha -ha. Yes. It's Tejero. Tejero is still in the potion is. business. <laughs> we were playing Ooh. the proto game so long of like, there's only one person this could be, and I think it's this lady. It's like, oh no. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll clear that up just in, in okay. case I wasn't clear with the the world building yeah. in some portions. It just it like is. point out the window, and it's like Tejero's potions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, okay. But it's over Word's shoulder, and he's like, it's got to be that Baz Tan lady. Yeah. <laughs> there's nobody else that makes sense. <laughs> Like a plane flies by with a banner. <laughs> Tejero potions. Buy some now. Potions. A face you can trust. <laughs> Head of the potion business. <laughs> no, but nobody higher up the chain than this man. But yes, Brits those are the three. It's a long notes. banner on that plane. Those are the three pieces of information brought to you by Words Informant. I'm stupid. Okay, and I was wrong, and I was backwards. It was sent by Tejero. To the king of the bad place. Who is that the fucking turtle? Do they just live really long and he's just been evil for like 800 years? Uh, oh, he don't would probably know, know I mean, some very interesting things. I don't know necessarily that he's the king of the underthrone, but he certainly appears to be high up. I mean, Can I actually make a nature check on how long that guy's probably been alive? Uh, just yeah, turtles sure. in general. Yay! Let's see. Five years. Yes. They always look old. Wah. Let's see. Uh, oh, that could have been a 20, <laughs> but instead it's a 12. Uh, lifespan. Turtle quote. Okay, so you know that uh, <laughs> turtles can Black live hole. up to about 300 ish years. Okay. And that okay. one is more on the elder side. So, ball And all the stuff about the the war, that's like Close more than 300 years, years right? More than 300. Uh, about, okay. about, about 300, 300 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Stupid theory. Ooh. We all if he was a pilgrim, one of the first. He could have been. It almost seems like half the people we encounter were secretly pilgrims at one point. That's actually kind of genius, maybe. I think we should all agree that if and when we survive this, none of us go off to found evil cult-like organizations that try, try to, to usurp the, the entire, entire government. government. I look at word. <laughs> <laughs> like, eyes are darting around the room. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'll never be like these guys. That whispers to himself. Better. Look, look me, look me in the eye when you say that. When you say that. Make look, eye contact with me when you say that. He is actually. Let me. These guys suck. I don't. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> the, All right, ins everybody, insight checks. Insight check. <laughs> oh, I can't ah, possibly dang. roll high enough for that. I trust you. I, I would never do that. <laughs> shit, that's like really good, but not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, it's like, I know words a piece of shit. <laughs> At God. Word. Is up to. Gosh darn it, word, you you little rap scally. <laughs> you tiny rascal. <laughs> so, I just okay. stare at you just blankly. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so we're gonna have to we have less than twenty four hours now. Before we yes. have to confront Tahero and we gotta find out. One, we got to get some people on our side, and then we also need to get a way to uh, communicate to uh, the dragon what we're going to do, right? Oh, I can handle that. Uh, I wasn't joking about the scroll with a note thing. It's a thing I can actually do. Oh, cool. Animal messenger? Yes. That's a good spell. As long as she's within... Like a mile. 25 miles, we oh should be God. fine. She you is. could send a rat 25 miles. <laughs> and if it can fly, it's 50 miles. I'm just like sitting here thinking of all the information we had. Yeah. The hearts of the dragons are needed to keep the life tree alive. So. Maybe. The dragon no, that, had to. Yeah. yeah, the dragon that part we just know about, yeah. For the life tree. Could that be why a war broke out? A dragon didn't want to give out, give their heart? Perhaps. There was a dragon in the under, th the previous 
dragon in the under... Is the fucking turtle a dragon? Hmm. I, I suppose we'll we find out. Uh, we don't know that, but if he is, yeah. that would make... Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's think. When we were in the ruins, we saw visions. One of them, the Prabath, on the throne. He said something that's in my notes. What um, was on the throne? They were calling him the Prabath. Hmm. The guards were saying, protect the Prabath. His final words, curse you, Alinthi. Independently proving that Alinthi already existed at the time, which is useful. The life tree's roots burst up out of the ground. The people we see being transformed into something strange. Deosia has the, the icon of the teardrop and eye, but Alinthi's icon at the time appears to be that strange bud shape that we just discovered. And, oh, no, I found his actual last words. They're in my notes later. <clears throat> he says... I shall not rest. My people will have vengeance. Elinthi will fall. And then, on the throne, shards of dragon scales. With what we now know, this somewhat reframes the situation. At least we know what questions we have to ask. I'm, these are very dangerous questions to ask. Oh, yes, and there was that one other note, that the withered roots had the same arcane makeup as the blot. Oh. Which I think lends credence to the theory that perhaps when, they share an origin. When, when the fuck did we learn that? Are you kidding me? Oh, because I took a part of it and I gave it to someone to, like, look through mm -hmm. it. We gave it I did. did a... Yes, Shamaya and I took some time to uh, analyze it, and we learned this extremely dangerous information. <laughs> that the blot is just dead roots. No, that the blot and the dead roots share arcane makeup. Perhaps the roots withered because of the blot, or because of the same enchantment that created the blot. Perhaps the blot was created from the essence of the life tree, like and now sap. seeks to destroy it. Yes, perhaps like sap. Perhaps. Yeah. It's a theory. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> a tree theory. Rip, he's not, did you say rip? He's not dead. Uh, well, <laughs> he's just offline. Is, Sorry, no. I mean, it's, that's, yeah, it's not true. I didn't mean, uh, yeah, I was like serious about the rip. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, no, I think, I think it's really funny. People have been saying that F about me too. It's like, man, no. yeah, rip, rip Joe Cat. Rip Joe Cat. I'm not, I'm rip not dead. Sometimes I can still hear his I'm voice. Quit telling people I'm dead. Sometimes I still feel like I'm playing d and I'm feeling him. better. <laughs> He'll be gone I in a think second. I'll go for a I, walk. Think, I think I might make a recovery. <laughs> All right. Let's, anyway, so, so yes. Do we, do we need to see Torellin? Is that the plan to go find them? We do what? Oh God. To go speak to. Yeah, to go speak to the prisoner. Yes. What is the? I plan don't think Torellin's gonna oh. know shit about this, but yes. Um, uh, well, we still day. wanted them on our side, right? Not. I, I don't want to talk to Torellin specifically. It's just right. The I prisoners just mean collectively. In yeah. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Just like probably spend maybe four of our what's uh, twenty four minus nine, like fifteen ish. Fifteen ish hours. Fifteen, yeah. Yeah, uh, I want to spend maybe four of those hours. Yeah, trying to do that charisma thing. So I'll run off with uh, Lyra and we'll rally both mm -hmm. them and like the, the common folk to see if we can plan for some level of like, even if I just tell them like, hey. The dragon's gonna show up and say some crazy shit, and we're gonna be there. Tell everyone that you trust what we're saying. Something mm. like that. Okay. Just bad word of mouth, but no, just yeah, that I they're understand. on our side is the main thing. Okay. All right. You go to do that, and I'm gonna need <laughs> you to roll a persuasion, as you know, DC 19. And I'm going to cast um, yeah. enhance ability on you, specifically Eagle's Splendor, so you have advantage on a okay. charisma check. Very well. Um, Speaking and thinking as word. No, stop it. Why did it what? do that? Sorry, oh, not I you. Would, <laughs> I would spin it as a lie to try and... Because word is all about deception. His, perform, ah. his persuasion is actually not that great. Ah, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. Um, do you want me to try and come up with like how he would do that? Or? If you so wish. You don't have to role play it out. But if you want to say like okay. what he does, yeah. then that's fine too. I think... He'll probably just give them false promises of like, look, we're going to overthrow them and every one of you is not only going to get free, but going to get gold. And uh, <laughs> bam. All yes! right. Yes. Yeah. You go over and you have to convince the guards to let you by as they are warning you that these are very dangerous convicts. They've done some of the most awful things, including convening with the blot, which they claim is how they contracted this disease in the first place. And they are enemies convening of all of Alinthi. So they tell you to go there with careful, you know, be careful around them. And uh, the guards do keep an eye on you, but you make sure to keep your words nice and covert as you whisper these sweet promises into these 
uh, prisoners' ears. And a few of them are downtrodden. They don't believe that change can happen. They feel as though that they've just been dealt a bad hand and there's no way out of it, as is the culture in Trevisetta. Whatever hand you're given, you just have to work with it. But you give them an alternate solution and promises above that besides. And this raises their spirits a bit. They agree to follow your lead. <laughs> you serve the bright lord now. <laughs> Whatever plan yeah. it is God that you King's have, they will hear it out, and they will uh, execute it whenever, whatever okay. s signal you give to them. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to and think I, of a plan. I'll give them sort of the rough a range of yeah. like these it's are okay. all the signals. We you don't have to do. come up with it now. We can deal with that yeah. um, between okay. sessions. Perfect. Thank you. We can <laughs> yeah, deal with that sessions. between Good. sessions because I also yes. have to prepare between sessions with that plan <laughs> in mind. Right. Yeah. But, but yeah, at any point today, I can fire off an animal messenger using like a squirrel or a cat or something. I was just about just... to get to that because mm -hmm. while word goes off to convince people, um, you are approached by a large knight with a huge backpack. He seems large and burly, almost like um, Goliath size, but he's in some complete bronze armor that covers everything from head to toe, very bulky, oh. and uh, except for a few braids of hair and a large beard that pokes out the bottom of the, his helmet. And he has a symbol on him that designates he is a courier despite his heavy plate. And he comes up to you. Yes, I love him. <laughs> he's got a little bird on his head. Hello, uh, are they, are you the pilgrims of Alinthi? Uh, yes. I have I a package to deliver to you from Tigamura. It didn't say who, any name, it just said addressed from a friend. All right, thank you. There you go. Just... He hands you the letter. It seems to be an envelope with something kind of large and round sticking inside, about palm size. Okay, I think I know what this is. Uh, I'm gonna open it. <laughs> I'm heading back to Tigamura. If you have anything else to send back in return, I'm happy to take it now while I'm here. Uh, let me just check my inventory. Well, let's see what this says and then. Maybe. Very well. Yes, yeah. please, please hold. So you open it up and you can mm -hmm. see that inside is a stone. It just looks like mm -hmm. a round stone and carved into it looks to be a humanoid knight, very crudely carved into it who's wearing shiny armor. <laughs> Is this a sending stone? You may add uh, Edmund's sending stone to your inventory. Yay! Edmund! Um, he got back in contact. Yeah, and he put the armor back on for his little profile pic. We respect it. <laughs> Now, this is a true sending stone, which means you can use it to cast sending, I will say, three times a day. Mm hmm And they will not take up a, a spell slot or anything. But yes, a true, like, actual sending to anyone you know the name of. To anybody? That's oh, how, that's how well, sending that's works, lovely. I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, I think that's correct. It's not on my spell list. Yeah. Uh, it's Bard, Cleric, and Wizard. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. I mean, it would be rude to not use the first sending to like send to him and be like, "Thank you for the sending stone." I know. It's going to I be know very... generally. <laughs> I know generally sending stones like are like normally paired with one another, but this one just allow. This one is just like allows us to cast. This is just. This is not a sending stone so much as a stone of sending. Is I guess. Correct? I guess it like, is a stone just... of sending in that case. Yes. Incredible. Okay. And that is the description for the spell sending. You can cast that three times a day with this stone. Fantastic. All right. Operation Get a Squirrel is off the table. Dang. <laughs> I, Take it back. <laughs> I, I would like to send him back something. Okay. I have one flawless magic crystal. Oh, Ooh. the one that you found in the uh, underground mines. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send him that. Ooh, a mighty cool. fine gem. I'll be sure to package it and keep it safe. Do, do you need a tip or a do, what's the cost for sending the... Oh, no, not at all. This is Alinthi's official mailing. So we make sure, you know, tax do uh, tax money goes well, you know. Huh. Here's, here, here's a couple gold uh, just for your troubles, though. Oh, cause... thank you so much for the tip. That's very generous of you, sir. And what's your sure name, by the way? <laughs> oh, no need to call me. I'm just the courier. <laughs> okay, the courier. He's so nice. You have a wonderful right. day. Yes, same to you. Thank you very much. Don't you dare 
drop this kind of character on us for with nothing else. <laughs> and he heads off. And I'm going to say we're going to call it there for the session for now because there's a lot of planning that needs to be done for both of you guys oh and boy. myself. Mm -hmm. Homework. Hooray. The, yeah. we, can, we will come back Rip next joke, week yeah. for, the, for the downfall, potential downfall of Trevisetta and the usurping of the <laughs> throne, of course. Thank you.